Uh, NBA news. Uh, we gotta, we got, we gotta start in Brooklyn, man. Right hand in in, in good old New York City. Uh, media day went down uh, today, um, but we are learning the bigger story that Kyrie, uh, Mr. Controversial, does not want to be vaccinated, which means that he will now be putting his team in jeopardy of not making a deep playoff run because the Nets play in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center and, and in New York and in the stadiums that we have here, you have to be vaccinated to enter those stadiums. So what that means is if Kyrie does not get the vaccine, he will not be able to play any, well, excuse me, not only will he not get to play any home games, he also won't get to play the road games against the Knicks and the road game against uh, the Golden State Warriors because you have to be vaccinated to get into those arenas as well. So my question to you, Eric, is I know a lot of people had the Nets as the favorite to win the championship, but if Kyrie does not get vaccinated, where do you have the Nets finishing this season? If he doesn't get vaccinated, they'll finish in the top three again in the East, mm -hmm. and they will not make it out the second round again. I just think that it, we, we can't overlook several factors here. So the first factor is the distraction that it causes. Yes. Right? If you're Kevin Durant, if you're James Harden, if you're Steve Nash, how often are you going to want to answer the questions about Kyrie not playing? Oh my goodness, yeah. I, I didn't right? that one. <laughs> like because if if you got a if you got a let's say you got a four game homestand and Kyrie don't play the whole, you know, obviously he's not playing the whole four games. You're answering this question every time you go in front of the media. What's going on with Kyrie? Is he getting a vaccination? When do you expect him to be back? Right? The next part of that is if I'm Kevin Durant, if I'm James Harden, I came here to win a championship. Anything less than winning a championship is a disappointment. And that's not why I came here. Yes. And if you are going to get in the way of us winning that, then you may need to be removed from this situation. So and is Ben Simmons trade back on the table. I think multiple trades would be on the table, not just the Ben. But I think that if, if you're KD, you got to have a serious conversation with Kyrie and say, look, either we're all in or we're not. Get your boy. Because Right. It's, it's just not it, it's, it isn't fair to anyone. And as a Knicks fan, I could care less if they don't win a championship. Yeah. But as a sports fan. You cannot create this type of cloud over your team. And for the people who don't believe in the vaccine, that's cool. I completely understand where you're coming from. This has nothing to do with his right to get the vaccine or not. This has just we're talking professionally. If you're getting in the way of a team winning a championship, you should be removed from that situation. So that you're not holding back the other guys who are trying to win a championship. Yeah, especially if if this was any other team in basketball outside of the Knicks and the Golden State Warriors, and you didn't want to get vaccinated, I'd say, you know what? Do you? But the fact that you cannot play any home games for the Nets if you don't get vaccinated. It's like, come on, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make that choice. And if and if not, then you know what? Tell them to trade you. Tell them you don't want it, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get vaccinated. So you know what? Go ahead and trade me. And I think I think it's gonna end up at that point. Um, just looking ahead as we talked about, what what would you do if you're the Nets and you're in the playoffs? Like yeah. he's not playing any home games. So so what happens if you have game seven at home? Yeah, which is which is a big possibility because right, they, they had finish with a top record even if he doesn't play home games. Right. I mean, they 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 had you know they they had Game Seven on their home court last year against Milwaukee. What what would you do in that situation? Yeah. You know, like if, if you're Steve Nash, realistically, how am I supposed to coach this knowing that he's missing 41 home games, he's missing the one game at Golden State, he's missing the two games that we play against the Knicks. That's 44 out of a possible 82 games that I don't have the guy. Yeah. How am I supposed, am I supposed to have a separate game plan for road games as opposed to home games? You'd have to <laughs> because right. what else could you do? Right. But that, that's what I'm saying. Like at, at what point does somebody just say, look, this is just becoming a ridiculous situation that is putting too much stress on the rest of the guys as a, like, I, I just, cause then it, it, they did it, at that point, because, you know, because they're such good friends and they came here together, you know, it's going to come down to KD. If I, if I, if I'm, 
if I'm the, the ownership, if I'm the GM, I got to have a serious conversation with Kevin Durant and say, listen, right. we love Kyrie here, right? We think we can win a championship with him here. However, we cannot afford to sacrifice and not have a starter playing in every home game. And, you know, and even again in the regular season, because we, we both feel like they, they would still finish in the top three in the Eastern Conference with Kyrie Irving. I mean, it's true. They, they all missed games last year and still finished in the top three. Right? right. So we still think they would win. But 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 you talked about the playoffs. When you get into the playoffs, if if you have four games at home, but you don't have Kyrie Irving, that's going to be a problem, especially when, you know, Shoot, we saw what we saw what happened. Guys went down. Kyrie got hurt. James Harden got hurt. Uh, Jeff Green got hurt. Guys get hurt in the playoffs. So now you're telling me we're not going to have you, not because you're hurt, but because you cannot walk into this building <laughs> because you're not vaccinated. That's a problem. So we got to have a serious talk with Kevin Durant. And say, listen, we want uh, you know Kyrie here, but if you can't convince him. To get old, get out, get out of his own way, and just and, and sacrifice and get the vaccine so that we can legitimately compete for a championship. We're gonna have to trade him. I'm sorry, but that's what it's going to be because I cannot have us going into a season w- knowing that one of my starters is going to miss half of the regular season games and all of our home playoff games. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Uh, that's what I'm looking at, Ben Simmons. Yeah, I mean, it, it may be a Ben Simmons deal. It may be another deal. Maybe but it's, it's just too many question marks. It's, it's just, again, how, how am I supposed to handle the, the minutes and man, manage the minutes of my two other stars? You know what I'm saying? Like, so they, they can never take a home game off because you're not around? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then when we go on the road, am I, like, now finding ways to not play them because, oh, Kyrie's back, so let me try to see if I can maybe give KD the night off or give James the night off, like – it, it's it's just too many obstacles that you put in your way again for a team that hasn't won anything yet. Yeah. Talent wise, they're they're right up there, whatever. But they, you haven't won anything yet to yeah. have this type of mindset to think that. So what if I miss half the season? Oh, and and, and God forbid, uh, Kevin Durant or James Harden get injured because right. I, we go we gonna call a spade a spade again. Kevin Durant is 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 injury prone. And and I gotta say too, man, Kyrie. You know, I know we've been critical of him on the show as a player, not as a person, because we yeah. love a lot of the things he's done in the community as a player. Even his comments today during media day, like, you know, I'm not too fond of all the questions. That's what the media does, bro. They're going to ask you questions. And when you're the only one who's not in the building and you're on a Zoom from home when everyone else is in the facility, the question is going to be how long before you get vaccinated? Yeah. Every, so, every game. Every game, every, game. Every, every, every loss that the Nets take at home, they're going to now the following game, your team just lost another game. Have you changed your stance on the vaccine? That's going to be the recurring question after every home loss. Yep. So, listen, man, I, w- I want to I want to see uh, Lakers versus the Nets in, in the finals this year. I don't know if that's going to happen, no. We gotta wait and see what's gonna go down with uh w- w- with Kyrie. Oh, fuck us. This is your African King's coming, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends do a talk. Get real with it, my son. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. 